a very good morning to one and all gathered here it's my uh, privilege uh, to be the part of this program on behalf of iqsc cell ncc nss and department of physical education i cordially welcome each and every one of you for the national level webinar on yoga the way of life in connection with international yoga day 2020 once again a warm welcome to one and all may i now request our uh, principal sir to deliver the presidential address good morning to anandal present here starting from the beginning gobi arts and science college is giving importance to human excellence with the blessings of our president through p karpanan and the secretary and correspondent of our college through m dharane dharan we are organizing this webinar in connection with international yoga day also i wish to inform that we are celebrating international yoga day every year we wish to inform that we have a separate yoga and human excellence department with an moe with world community service center at aliyar also i wish to inform that gobi arts and science college in its 52nd year after celebrating golden jubilee gone for the fourth cycle nac accreditation and received a grade i welcome and happy that major dr n s sivakumar professor and director department of physical education urumu dhanalakshmi college trichy has joined as a guest for this international yoga day organization congratulations to iqsc cell ncc nss program officers physical education director and directors for this arrangement i wish that everyone will benefit out of this program thank you thank you sir may now uh, welcome the uh, head of the department of economics and iqsc coordinator dr m raju to deliver a keynote address uh, thank you kathi respected uh, chief guest today major dr ns sivakumar udc trichy and uh, my colleagues and organizing secretary dr p karthi dr rajendran dr krishna murthy and uh, my dear student friends good morning to all uh, today we are going to celebrate the yoga international yoga day yoga is a physical mental and spiritual practice which originated in india the pandemic has shown us the importance of immunity and healthy living yoga is something that brings them qualities together every year june 21st is recognized as international yoga day but due to the social distancing the measures adopted by most of the countries the theme set by the un for this year is yoga for health yoga at home the ministry of ayush government of india has started a campaign called yoga at home yoga with family to encourage the people to practice it and stay healthy with this few words i conclude my this uh, introduction of yoga because uh, our chief guest is going to give elaborate thing related to yoga today i thank this opportunity on the behalf of ikc and my own behalf of i thank you the management the principal and organizing secretaries for this opportunity thank you very much thank you ananda thank you so much sir joining with us now may i call upon dr m krishna murthy physical director gobi arts and science college to introduce our resource person he has a profound experience in physical education and as well as in uh, ncc uh, to such a chief guest today uh, i like to welcome krishna muthi to introduce the chief guest i am purposely elected to take this opportunity to begin the fifth speaker of the day our distinguished chief guest dr ms dilkumar sir associate professor and director in various schools colleges lines and rotary clubs on the academic front he was the member of board of studies various colleges he has held several administrative positions like organizing committee members happy to have you here with 
us sir we look forward to you sir thank you thank you dr m krishnamurthy physical director for uh, a nice introduction about our today's guest now i officially hand over the floor to our uh, today's guest major dr ns shivakumar a vibrant personality to take over the session now i request the chief guest to take over the session is it clear yes sir yes sir okay yeah okay so it's very happy to welcome you all on this uh, sixth international uh, day of yoga which is celebrated throughout the universe uh, we the indians were very should be very proud about this celebration because our prime minister ji has made a proposal in united nations in the year 2014 and it was very happily accepted by more than 170 countries and from the year 2015 onwards we are celebrating this international day of yoga we have to thank the management of bobby ashtanga science college the principal the faculty members particularly uh, the ncc nss director of physics education other various iqsc and other staff members who are involved in organizing this program even in this pandemic situation surely entire world is afraid of this covid 19 but still we the people of physical educationist always we are very proud to say we are the most anxious to always meet any critical situation even in this time we are facing the situation in this situation only by our strength that strength we accumulate assimilate from the regular practice of exercise nowadays the concept of exercise has changed to various ways in that way the concept of yoga has born in our field it is a reborn for our india actually the yoga was originated in india by the say patanjali but after thousands of years it has regenerated we can say use that word regeneration regenerated in india and now we are spreading yoga throughout the world and we are the only uh, confident country that we can face any situation like this pandemic period now coming to the topic yoga the way of life really we have to thank the organizers for choosing this topic because it is a current need of the hour i i am not going to elaborate very deep or any specific scientific aspects of yoga because uh, i came to know that most number of many number of students of hero of hero perundurai coimbatore tirupur are watching this and it should be an a uh, knowledge enlightened session for the students rather than it is in a very academic purpose so in that way i make the entire program in a simple way so that everyone can understand easily and they can practice very easily in the day to day life now we move on to the so this is the first slide i want to show it what is life a life for a person is very simple maybe 60 years or 70 years or 80 years or 90 years in that life we should have a very happy and peaceful session because the the entire nation entire world has so many concepts in their mind but we the younger generation or the generation of the next world should always have one thing in the mind they have to lead a life of happiness happiness should be generated only from us it is it is we cannot get anything from outside the happiness should start from us that is the slide i want to show but to create happiness for ourselves what we have to do happiness is begins from the moment you do something for others that is do something good to the others there are so many concepts of happiness service to others should be sincere research indicates that there are less stressed and experience improved mental health when we do when we have happiness what happen 
even our mental health is improved and the stress for our life is coming very less and less. I know very well the Gopi College is providing number of scholarships because they want to service to the nation, they want to service to the society, they have to accept the management for giving so many scholarships to the students who are unable to go for the higher education. In that way, they are propagating this happiness is the way of life to the students also. So for to have a very good happiness, we need proper help. Suppose we tell I am very happy. The happiness will, should sustain in our body, not by gentle physical, but it is related to health. The health can be classified into three parts, that is physical well-being, mental well-being, and social well-being. We know everyone, physical well-being, oh, I am strong, I am very healthy, that means I can lift a weight. And then social well-being, whether we, we, we have, whether we are suited this to this atmosphere, no. Main, majority of our students or majority of the people are becoming a failure aspect because of this they are not very mentally they are not very strong and socially they are unable to adjust with the people so if, if you want to be an happiness person happy person your health should be in a proper way the health is divided into three aspects which is physical health mental health and social health so this all three is combined to health and this health will lead to your happiness happy life so if you want to lead a happy life you have to maintain your health and that health should be in, the, in all directions. So according to the World Health Organization, it says everyone knows better health is central to human happiness and well-being. But the latest concept of health is defined as enthusiasm to work. If today when I get up from the bed, if I want to, if I feel I am healthy means that I should have the enthusiasm to work today. Uh, I want to make it in a simple language for the students to understand. definition. <laughs> Health is a relationship between you and your body. And your body. Health It is within us. So we have to develop the health. Many of us, what we think, health is from outside. No. Outside what we do, we put only medicines. We making the medicines into our body to make ourselves healthy. rapid. That's a myth. It's only a myth. Instead of putting the medicines, what is medicine? It is only chemical chemicals. That chemicals is originally within the body in the name of hormones. The hormones, if it secretes properly in our body, there is no need of any medicines which is taken from outside. So the health is always within our body and we are the designing factor for our health. So you know very well physical health, physical health is related with the regular fixes, regular uh, uh, physical movement. Then we need proper food to maintain physical health. Then adequate rest. This three combines physical health. Normally, physical health people will say only exercise. But all these three, the latest concept is we need rest also. Without rest, we cannot maintain the physical health. So physical health, we need proper exercise, proper food and adequate rest. Then mental health. Mental health is nothing but making our mind stress-free. Stress-free. This is the main concept because whatever we think, we think about very, about 10 years back what is going to happen, we are thinking now. No. You don't stress your mind. You be a relaxed person. Normally you don't load your mind that become if you are loading your mind what happened it become stress so this physical health mental health and normally in the society how to move these three combines for your health so this health can be easily developed in yoga 
why not why not about other exercises sir you may ask so why you are telling only yoga so i don't want to go very elaborate in those aspect because in simple we can say yoga is the only a uh, program where we can i am not telling exercise you watch my words yoga is only a program only program where you can develop your mind by physical movement and your mind and your mind by your mind training you can develop your physical and your mental by body exercise and by mind program see these programs will give enough strength to your physical as well as your mental aspects of the body so these programs will make your body to be in a perfect healthy condition to lead a happy life so with this we can move on to next next aspect normally in the society what everyone say is yoga i am learning yoga sir and i yoga kathukuren i am learning yoga i am i am enrolled in this school of yoga like that but the concept of yoga is in eight stages we people will call it as ashtanga yoga eight steps you can see in the screen you can see yama everyone may know these aspects yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana and samadhi so if we go by the explanation yama means moral force ulukkamana uh, walkai murai see the life starts with the discipline without discipline it's very difficult for you to lead a happy life so that is the reason why yoga plays a vital role for in several countries that those citizens who are disciplined they lead a life in a happiest condition so here what happens the yoga teaches the first stage is self discipline moral force how you have to lead a life second is niyama self purification self purification means what you have to lead a life along with the society see these two are the main concept for you to develop the best quality in a human being so if you want to be if you want to learn yoga first we have to know what is yama i will follow all the rules and ethics rules and conditions the laws the ethics of the society i will follow then i will make my body to live a happy life by having ahimsa i will not hurt anyone i will not injure anyone i will not steal anything like the purification yourself make yourself be happy self happy then comes asana asana is nothing but posture body posture iruk udal irukum nilai adhu dhan asana many of we, we think that if i do asana means i am i am learning yoga so there's a vast difference between yoga and asana asana is only a part of yoga so when you use the term yoga be careful we have to be very careful that yoga means it is a eight stages of life so so we can easily say i can do the asana i am doing asana then the fourth condition fourth stage is pranayama breath control controlling our breath or regulate or regulating our breath it is in the right sense we can tell we can regulate the breath that is மூச்சை ஒரே சீராக வழிநடத்துதல் மூச்சை இழுத்து மூச்சு விடுறது வந்து சீராக ஒரே சீராக வழிநடத்துதல் இதை வந்து நம்ம சிஸ்டமைஸ் பண்றது தான் ரெகுலேட்டிங் திரீத் தட் இஸ் பிராணயமா திஸ் ஃபோர் பார்ட் ஆஃப் யம நியமா ஆசனா பிராணயமா இட் இஸ் ஆல் ரிலேட்டட் டு பாடி ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் பாடி ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் அது அத்தையோவா சொல்லும் தென் வி கோ டு பிரதிகார drawing the mind from the senses and uh, controlling the senses you know very well we are having senses in our body like hearing listening uh, speaking like this so controlling these senses is known as pratyahara then dharana concentration concentrate whatever the aspect you do 
concentrate and do other. I, I, we can we can see the term is used regularly. Uh, for best example is uh, we can tell is when you drive a motorcycle or scooter or car, see your concentration level. Your two legs is working, your two hands is working, your ears is listening, your eyes is seeing. So entire concept, entire body parts is involved when you are driving. If you lose concentration, this term we use it. The accident happens. He lost his concentration, so the accident made. So the concentration plays a vital part. Whenever, whatever work you do, you concentrate and do in that particular work, then you become a winner or champion. Then meditation. We can call this meditation is something like uh, in Tamil they used to call as dhyana. This is meditation. This making entire your concept of thinking into a single point so that you can make your body to feel very light and reducing your stress level or below average level. Even there, there won't be any word like stress for those who are doing regularly meditation. Then the final stage is Samadhi. Samadhi is the Mukti stage. That is a uh, very, 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 uh, very difficult level. But we can, at least we can concentrate up to seven stages to, to lead a happy life, the way of life. Yoga is the way of life, as our topic suggests. Then we can at least try to practice these seven stages. Then when we, when we achieve these seven stages, automatically we can go to the eighth stage. That is Samadhi, but that is very difficult level. So we don't bother about that stage. At least we can try to practice these seven stages to lead a happy life. So among this thing, um, Yama, it is all your, what, whoever want to learn yoga, whoever want to be an happy person, they have to practice Yama. They have to practice Niyama. So first to, to you should make your mind that, okay, from today onwards, I want to learn the yoga. So I will hereafter will not speak anything bad about anyone. Like this, we should build up. We should build up. I have to take a decision that I should practice Yama and Niyama from today onwards. Okay, this is true. The third part is, third stage is asanas. I already told you, that is body posture. Now I am sit sitting. This is a posture. Some may be standing. That is the posture. Some may be walking. That is the posture. When I lift a hand like this, this is a posture. This is a asana. When I lift this hand, this is a asana. Whichever the body posture is there, that is known as asana. So this asanas, why we want to practice this asanas? Because the body you know very well, it is all only joints. Our body structure, we have muscles, bones, cartilages, and muscle fibers, and number of anatomical and physiological systems are there in our body. So, we have to use these body parts and systems in a proper way. So if you are not using these systems and body parts proper way, definitely we are not having a positive health. Our ultimate aim is to have a positive health. That health will lead to a happy life. That happy life will lead to have a very great citizen of this country. And this country will become number, always we are number one. And definitely after this period, our country will be the number one country in the world. So we should have always a positive mind. So that positiveness should apply to our body. So don't keep your body idle. In that way only asanas have been developed. And there, to my knowledge, my gurus have told there are more than 78 lakhs asanas. More than 78 lakhs asanas are there. But don't worry, if you do very few asanas, maybe about 10 or 15 per day, each day if you do these asanas, definitely you can maintain your health. 
in a very positive way. This asanas can be classified into three types standing, sitting, and lying down. Ninnu to say kuri asanagal, upar to say kuri asana, and the patthu to say kuri asana. These three are very vital. So, you know very well, first is yama. If we are completing yama self, then moral force, then self purification yama, then we come into asanas. Asanas, now we are going to see standing asanas, sitting asanas, and lying down asanas. So, whenever we do any physical movement for our body, physical in the sense, uh, suppose we are sleeping, we are not doing any activity, we are just lying down. But whenever we are doing any physical activity, that is moving our body, we need some warming up. We need some loosening exercise, loosening exercise. Loosening exercise in the sense that is just free hand exercise. Limbering exercise, we call it, all these terms are only common, limbering or free hand or loosening or warming up, all same meaning, but in a different concept we can tell only just swing your arms, swing your legs, keep your rotate your body, make it, don't make it very stiff, very loose, there is no any set of warming up exercise, you can even jump slowly, you can slowly skip, you can slowly hop, then you, you can swing your body, upper side, lower side, side twisting, raise your toes. These are small warming up we, we need before we practice asanas. Then after doing this warming up exercise, I use the word prayer, but it, it is not the prayer in the sense, it is a common uh, a word where even you can maintain a silence. Even silence is a prayer. So prayer in the sense, no need to Tell any words, don't be afraid of any prayer or any words, even keep your mind and body, close your eyes, just sit for a few seconds, then your body becomes very normal. That is a prayer. Prayer in the sense, not if, if, if you recite anything means that is, that is not only the prayer. Many think that prayer means we have to tell something, no. That is, if you want to go to next stage, you can even tell, there is no arm. When you tell the prayer what happens, you are making your body, you are making your senses to come and sit inside. You are making all the distractions to go away from your body and you are able to concentrate fully to your body. So that is the reason we are keeping this prayer. Okay. After prayer, we can, uh, we can start with standing asanas. So among the Ashtanga Yoga, uh, when we saw the eight stages, what happened? Uh, this is the main part because we are using our entire body for asanas. So the concentration will be more in this Ashtanga Yoga and as well as in Pranayama. So these two are involved in our body. So if you want to have a happy life without any health disturbances to lead a happiness, we can practice asanas daily, which there, as I told you, there are a number of asanas uh, throughout the world. Each school of concept is telling in a different name. But according to scientific aspects, we can choose certain selected asanas because there are, you know very well, in today's society, we can see everywhere different schools of thought. They are teaching yoga. Different schools of thought. One say you practice exercise, another school say exercise is not necessary, go directly to yoga. Some say you start with pranayamas, another say you start with meditation. Don't worry about these things. You are doing for yourself. You are not doing for others. You think you, the basic concept is do some limbering exercise, then prayer, then you start with body movements. In, in, when you are starting with body movement, standing asanas will be very simple for you. So you start with standing asanas. See, this is one of the very simple standing asana, which is called as tadasana, um, mountain pose. This is mountain posture. So this the red color in the body, it, it symbolizes the muscle movements of each body performance, each year. Uh, asana performance and body movements. Uh, that is another thing, white colors are skeleton. So, mountain pose, what it happens? So, when you stand straight, 
anyway when he lifts his hands when he lifts his hands kai and mat thookum bodu what happens he raises his toes also we have to raise the toes also namba unde toe la ninnittu raise the heels sorry you raise your heel the toes it stretches the hips hamstring and spine and we can the the breathing is actually the lungs is opened up the chest is opened up so it helps to have a very good breathing and particularly those who have some uh, breathing problem like asthma and we see these these things can be rectified very easily as well as if you have mild if you have mild back pain so for severe back pain we cannot do this thing for mild back pain we can slowly stretch but never attempt to do that the very first day i want to touch the ground no you cannot touch your ground and you cannot stretch fully just allow the body as it goes don't force your body in yoga or in asana in or in pranayama don't exert too much neenga odamba vandu romba valukattaayama panni strain panninga what happens it it has a negative impact in your body we don't want any negative impact in your body we are doing uh, yoga for positive development so never force your body for any movement and never no jerking movement abhi bhi jerk pani jerk pani seyra so in this way if you do this asana what happens you can have a my a slow development uh, rectification in your breathing problem and you can even train your hip muscles hamstring muscles and spine okay now this is vrikshasana there is a stage is like this standing straight and lifting one hand one leg on and placing in the another leg and just lifting your arms so this vrikshasana we call it as tree posture tree like a standing like in a tree you know very well mara how the tree stands firmly like that you have to stand so this standing in one leg is first of all difficult then making another leg placing in the second leg is second stage of difficulty then we slowly raising our arms and extending our legs arms so this is the test so whenever you feel difficulty level we have what happened we slowly avoid those asanas i know very well or kashtamana asanangala paakumba enna pandrom namma enna pandrom adha uttittu vera seiyala nenikirom but we have to try definitely if we start trying these asanas what happen you can improve your balance and stability in your legs as the aging process vaise vara vara what happen we lose our balance and we lose our leg strength so in order to improve the leg strength in order to improve the 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 balance in our body in order to have a strength in our back we have to do this vrikshasana it's a very common uh, balancing asana uh, for the sports person who are practicing archery indian team archery team willambudra team archery team is practicing this particular asana apart from archery team even gymnastics team is practicing this asana and the shooting team even in ncc when we are practicing firing i we used to give these type of asanas in trichy group for the cadets who are going for firing because this aspect it develops their balance and they when they aim and shoot it it has a very good balance for them so to have a proper balance and to make uh, your legs to be very steady then you can practice this three asana and it also what happens uh, your weight is very proportionate when you starting this aspects this uh, yoga this asana your body weight is toned up to enter entire leg so there are number of postures in this particular asana so at least you try to do this uh, virkshasana now we move on to uh, sitting asana uh, this sitting asanas uh, i have limited to only minimum asanas for everyone uh, basics of asanas only this is known as siddha asana uh, olden days we can see siddhargal irukkum nilai siddhargal adavad making one leg over another leg that's all only one leg on the another leg 
not like padmasana it's very what is the idea behind behind this sitting asana it is just stretching your back you are you can stretch your back and see the benefits number of benefits are there it help relieves as asthma because the breathing process starts properly it it is as the breathing is very good we are the blood the blood flow of our body blood flow in the heart also it started moving very fast and we can and we can reduce the and the kadasi la or link kaduvanga someone is disturbing இப்ப என்ன ரெஜிஸ்டர் ஆயிட்டு இருக்கா ஜிபி சரஸ்வதி மேம் ஜிபி சரஸ்வதி மேம் ப்ளீஸ் மியூட் ப்ரோசீட் சார் ப்ளீஸ் थैंक यू थैंक यू सर सो whether it is audible to everyone uh, okay now now after doing the after practicing when we are doing the siddhasana what happens uh, the lower extremity of our body uh, particularly our limbs it should be properly folded nowadays many of us don't have the habit of sitting the ground uh, in the house itself uh, even for our uh, food uh, intake of food and everything in those days we used to tell a samanangati okara nowadays what happened the concept of dining table has emerged so what happened now it is a turn of the we are following the olden system like whenever you enter the house now the covid 19 period we wash our hands we wash our legs and we are entering the house so likewise we should try to sit in the ground and try to keep balance in our body so for this we can have this siddhasana making one leg over another leg and stretching your back very straight you can easily you can uh, relieve your asthma to a certain level you can make your heart to function properly you can reduce your blood pressure you can and the diabetics can be you can stimulate the uh, pancreas gland uh, this see never think that i am telling like all my this all not my uh, proven research this all proven research by so many researches now the field of physical education and yoga has grown to a bounds leaps and bounds and everything has been proven in the by doing various number of researches even our university bardas in university is conducting number of researches in the field of yoga likewise in bardia university so these results have been circulated like these type of programs to the people so that they can practice regularly and develop their health now oh. next we move on to padmasana this is very common asana everyone will know this padma means lotus lotus type of city and it, it, when we see these asanas it's in ah, i can do these asana very simple like that but the moment when you fold our legs and place both the legs like another thigh it's very difficult for us to place the legs because our legs are like something like wooden rocks or marakatta mari namu vaalndirukom so we have to change this type of uh, uh, living standard by practicing the asanas so what happens the lotus posture padmasana improves uh, it open actually it, it is it is having a very uh, best possible benefits in sitting asana is padmasana we can tell see what happens it opens the hips hips means they uh, all the hip tightness is becomes very loose the the hip muscle or hip bones are structured in a very clumsy way that by practicing this padmasana what happened the hips are started moving very freely then the stretches in the ankles and knees we won't have any knee pain or jam ankle pain in our body when we are practicing or when we are walking then then the calmness in the brain the mind is relaxed because when the when we the moment when you sit in padmasana and when we close your eyes what happens everything all the disturbances goes away from the body then it increases awareness and attentiveness then the the main concept is the spine the mudugu tandu varam it should be straight it should be straight at no point it should have a bend always keep it straight it stimulates the spine nama mudugu tandu varam that when the what happens it stimulates it so that your thinkingness is very fast your reaction is very fast and your legs also is very flexible so these 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 
benefits will make you to do regularly even in your when you sit in your house you just try to sit in this posture and try to see the news see the tv or newspaper we know everything all the best parts but only thing lagging is we are unable to find time in that way i used to tell when you sit in the house when you read newspaper when you see the tv or even when you sit in the classroom just fold your legs and sit in the bench this is a one way of keeping yourself active throughout the time this is another sitting posture which is known as vajrasana you can see you can folding the legs and sitting back this posture we can see over the people of japan japanese people will always sit in the house like this even in for their supper or dinner they used to sit like this folding the legs backward we can see this type of sitting even in our infants uh, small babies in our house up to the age of one year they will always try to sit or one or two years they will always try to sit like this this is uh, the actual posture but what happens we used to tell don't sit like this don't sit like that then they change now what happened we are now practicing like this this vajrasana this is vajrasana and you see you can see the uh, benefits of vajrasana uh, even when you do this vajrasana try to seven minutes uh, vajrasana it is very much equal to the walking a uh, good distance and it is a uh, main problem once again told you sciatic problem sciatic problem is nothing but the the pain starts from the hip to leg we have a severe pain we can't move even our leg so those type of people we when we do these type of asana what happen we can reduce the difficulty level and we can start to live very normal life then we have varicose veins varicose veins is nothing but we can see the number of person the veins will be very big 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 and it will be curving that is known as varicose veins even those things can be cured properly by doing, by doing this type of asana and uh, normally after a certain age what happen our digestion problem starts to us so whatever we eat it 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 have a problem so what happen we can try to sit in this asana means slowly the gastric problem will be reduced very very to a greater level so this vajrasana padmasana and sitrasana are very useful we we no need for practice these type of asanas no need of time because even in our routine even in our day to day life we can practice by sitting in our house even if we sit in our chair we can fold our legs and can sit don't worry about anyone because they may tell anything but the ultimate benefit comes to us so in this society passing comments is very easy but practicing is very less so don't worry about those who are giving comments we are doing for ourselves this is known as sukta vajrasana we are bending our back this this is a little bit uh, difficult stage but just for the knowledge sake i am put this uh, asana for you to have a sukta uh, vajrasana because you are bending backward asana this backward asana gives many benefits see you can uh, stretch your lower lower extremity your tendons is extended your knee muscle gets strengthened many of us have, may, may have knee problem mutti vali vandrudu we can do these step ups asana and for particularly for women uh, the menstrual problem symptoms it will be rectified by doing these asanas and uh, uh, we feel after the uh, climbing stack cases uh steps maadi padi eri mudichona we feel that we have some tiredness so these type of uh, difficulties will be always will be reduced i am using the word reduced i am not telling it will eradicate uh, nothing will be eradicated once if it diffused means diffused but the, the the point of correction can be done by 99% under percent it's very difficult for any exercise to bring back so 99% we can rectify every problem and we can reduce the intake of medicines and one stage even we can we can quit medicines by doing this type of asanas which will benefit for you to live a happy life uh this is uh, another asana which we can the students can do anyone can do because this asana uh, brings out numerous benefits 
in the sitting asana posture. You can see the stage by stage, uh, first stage by sitting, second stage bending the folding one leg, third stage stretching and fourth stage putting the head towards the knee. Janu Sarasasana. Janu means uh, a knee and Sarasa means you know where you are head. So when you are doing this Janu Sarasasana, what happens? Um, your abdomen, many feel that I have a stomach, big stomach, I have big belly. This, by performing this asana, you can reduce your excess fat in your abdomen, your hip region. And some may feel my legs or my thigh are very big. I want to reduce it. You do this asana. It's very easy. And uh, uh, many people have the digestive disturbances and constipation. It will reduce it. But only thing is we have to do regularly. If you are not doing regularly, uh, you may tell, Sir, oh, uh, I'm, I did, Sir, no pain. No, it will take some time. But particularly certain persons who are having slipped disc and uh, hernia problem, they should avoid these type of uh, this particular asana. Other asanas they can do. But this type of asana they should not have done. But those who want to reduce their abdominal region, belly region, this Janu Sarasasana is very good. They have to stretch when you bend down, they have to exhale. And when you are coming up, inhale and get up. This is the concept. And you have to change the legs. One time right leg and another time left leg. Change your leg when you are going asana. This is Bhattakona asana. Butterfly, we also call it as butterfly asana. By taking too much time, but still anyhow will make it fast. Uh, strengthen it, it strengthens the it strengthens and improves the flexibility of the inner thigh. See, when you fold your legs, what happens? You are making the entire legs to be work properly, and you are making the muscles to work properly. And you are, it, if you are, if you are not using the thigh muscle, what happens? If you walk for ten steps, you get pain. So your muscles should be your 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 it should be toned up. So by doing this type of asana, asana what happens? You are toning your muscle and making it very strength oriented muscle then at the same time you are making your lower portion uh, particularly uh, the abdominal organs where we call it as uh, prostate glands kidney bladder everything it is all it, it goes with the without saying that strength is improving for them the, all the strength by by this posture what happens it has it creates its own strength for comfortable uh, excretion purpose it is used so those who are having that uh, uh, excretory problems and for women menstrual problems these type of this this particular asana is very much useful but the kona asana uh, it relieves the tension in your groin region and it, you can live a very happy life by practicing these type of asanas this is artha machendra asana side twisting asana um, this side twisting asana, it's a little bit complex asana, but still we can tone the hip region, hip region and other uh, chest level, the movements, you can see the body is twisted and you can get the strength and the abdomen comfort zone is reduced. Uh, normally after a certain stage, what happens, everyone has a belly. When we go to the doctor, they tell, sir, body weight, reduce your body weight. So this type of problems can be rectified by doing this particular asana and internal level we can see it stimulates the liver heart kidney function whenever you do the twisting asana what happened it gives entire crush to the internal body then we come to the lying, lying asana lying asana is very oh, only three or four asanas we are concentrating this is bhujang asana we call it a snake asana lifting our upper body see the actual impact is in the muscles you can see the muscles, uh, then the upper neck is stretched back and you just normal breathing, breathe out. Okay, the, this is the benefits of, uh, of Bhujangasana. Uh, normally, Bhujangasana is suggested for those who are having severe back pain. After the back pain is over, then this is the best exercise, this best yogic program to improve the strength in the black back at the same time it also reduces the abdomen uh, crush it reduces the abdomen load at this and uh, it improves the circulation of the blood also 
the only thing is when you are placing your hands in front of their chest don't put your entire load in the hands allow the body to lift the upper arm upper body just the hand is just only a support we call it as snake asana or cobra pose palm pada irukra mari upper body you have to raise your upper body this is salabhasana opposite of cobra pose opposite of bhujangasana in bhujangasana we lifted the upper body in salabhasana we are lifting the lower extremity lower extremity where you can see that that should be no bend in your no bend in your legs and your chin should be placed in the ground arms in the ground the benefits is actually this is also related with the relieving back pain also because whenever you do uh, supine body posture lying there are two types one is prone and one is supine when you do the supine posture what happen it is always have a crush always have impact in the abdomen region and it gives strength to your back region at the same time what happen this particular asana it also improves your leg strength also by making you to lift your legs right from the abdomen and improves the digestion system now we go on to dhanurasana which is one of the best asana for the back pain wherever you go throughout the world this dhanurasana is very much important for the relieving the stress in the back this particular region at the same time your abdomen is uh, get the maximum benefit by making you to do this asana means you can reduce your belly portion don't worry about this posture we cannot do like this at the beginning stage but certainly one day we will do this is the body structure when we do this particular asana see the muscle movements like this these are the benefits uh, for the uh, uh, dhanurasana uh, main benefit you can think it gives strength to your back and it reduces your abdomen it improves your capacity of your uh, abdomen organs functioning capacity is improves in by doing this organ so when time comes we can read it now we move to next one this is alasana which is known as plow plow asana kalapai tamil la kalapai nu solvanga andha mari yer ulugura kalapai mari irukka kudiya or asana plow asana it should be done in supine position then slowly raise your legs then stretch your legs then touch and normal breathing with you for any asanas don't hold your breath when you are doing normal after final posture as i told you just relax normal breathing without don't take don't hold your breath this is the body posture final posture see the muscles which are the muscles involved in this particular movement this is the benefits it actually it uh, it stimulates it stimulates uh, main glands uh, that is a different area we call it as um, this thyroid endocrine glands this endocrine glands is it, it has numerous benefits that is of a different topic but when we do this particular asana what happen it improves your flexibility leg flexibility it gives your physiological changes what all happens means in thyroid those are having hypothyroid hyperthyroid we can practice this asana and it improves improves the digestion so these are the basic uh, benefits when we do this asana there are numerous benefits you may think sir only this benefit uh, what about others everything is there but i am telling only basic benefits of this particular asana this is sarvangasana this is also known as uh, king of asana there are two king of asanas we can call uh, sirasasana as king of asana king of asana and this uh, this one as uh, prince of asana you can call it as prince of asana sarva anga asana you see this one asana will give all the benefits sarva means all anga means body parts so all body parts involved in this one particular asana it's very simple just lie down slowly lift then raise your hip keep it straight this is the final posture likewise also there are number of benefits uh, 
it's a proven benefit in this asana whether you are doing other asanas or not if you do this one particular asana you can develop your entire health system in a routine manner because here what happens your pineal glands and pituitary glands are stimulated and the entire gland system started functioning once when the entire gland system is started functioning means your other glands the thyroid hypothalamus your adrenal glands pancreas and reproductive glands everything is systemized in a proper way so in that way this is the one of the best asanas like sarasana we can practice but it will take some time for you to pick up you can slowly use the wall with the support of the wall uh, you can practice this asana finally we come to a savasana which is a relaxation asana you may think savasana is one of the easiest asana but that is not the easiest asana because the concentration level when you do savasana we should not sleep we should not sleep the concentrate that the the thinking should be there but you have to relax slowly you have to slowly relax your mind and body and you have to put out all the pain from your body these are the benefits what i told you then we come to the fourth stage is fourth step of ashtanga yoga is pranayama see pranayama uh, there are numerous pranayama uh, but what is pranayama pranayama is nothing but it's only controlling it is all it is only regulating your breath it is simple avladha much in tamil they used to they used to tell much paichi it is not we are not training the breath we are not training the much we are regulating the breath not even we are controlling we are just regulating the breath prana means energy so we are just regulating our energy this is uh, there are number of types of pranayama uh, uh, we can see the uh, nadi shuddhi pranayama tribandha pranayama ujjayi pranayama brahmari pranayama pranayama from atyava surya vedana bastika ujjayi like this these number of pranayamas should be properly trained under a instructor or a teacher to learn because if you do the negative type of pranayama what happens it has a problem in your it will create some problem in your body so always try to have a proper guidance and do pranayama the benefits of pranayama is nothing but see you can uh, very easily can read these things it reduces the stress it's controlling your thoughts helps in reversing the heart disease increases the energy provides signs provides seen and calm and peace and balance increases body blood flow and slows the heart rate increases power of positivity reduces feeling of depression anxiety anger and confusion reduces pain and enhances the body's immune system so these all combine a pranayama pranayama just you think like this normally we breathe in and breathe out there is no doubt 24 hours that system functions so that breathing and breathing breathing out should be in some method what we are doing now is normal breathing breathe out we call it as technically we call it as shallow breathing memo ka nam bas breathe pandra adha da we normal one minute in one minute we should have only three breathing oru nimishathukku moonu murai mattum dhaan kaathe irukka vendum in that sense means uh, you can you can uh, literally you can spread like this for one breathing breathe out 20 seconds second breathing breathe out 20 seconds third breathing breathe out 20 seconds this is the uh, regulating time normally when you check we will be breathing minimum 10 to 20 times that means we are not using our breathing system in a proper manner so to use the breathing system of ourselves we should practice pranayama which is the base for our body so the benefits you know very well so after doing pranayama what happen we need some relaxation for the session relaxation in the sense just close your eyes lie down and bring out your mind what all you did today then leave it everything just relax don't bring it everything in your mind it's very difficult we know we have to do 
நாம் செய்ய வேண்டிய வேலை நாம தான் செய்யணும் பட் லோடிங் ஆன் தர்க் the small brain what happened it, it it started confusion so never do like that just relax aram se sit down lie down or sit in a chair have some pleasant music and after few minutes your body becomes very normal then you can relax yourself so apart from this we saw the pradigara dharana dayana and samadhi i told earlier these are all those are all mind related so by learning these things then we can follow those things by controlling our sense by concentrating and meditation so the basic steps should be followed properly so when we complete these seven stages what happens we can have a very happy and peaceful life and we can survive yeah, yeah. like a situation like anything happens in future also now we are the most uh, fittest person in the world because the base the soil of this nation proves that we are the very strongest man and to prove once again to the world we should practice these type of uh, practices so i think with this we can uh, come to an end of our program so whatever now so audience can ask we can ask any questions regarding uh, the sessions uh, now uh, thank you very much for patiently listening for me even though some may feel what he has given only basics what sir like that i am already told you we are focusing mainly from for the entry level basic level and we are not going very scientific level so with this if any questions is there definitely i am answer to you i am ready to answer to you over to the moderator for your kathi sir kathi sir please participants can ask questions now to the resource person uh, they can unmute uh, their mic and ask the questions to the speaker or if else you can cha- post it in the chat box really is a nice for uh, sir i have a question yes now if you are practicing yoga yes it means that your anger temper everything can be controlled yes but don't you think that this is a natural instinct in a human being to get angry to get to be happy all these things are there in a human being hmm. now don't you think that you are trying to suppress one feeling which will <laughs> burst out at any time <laughs> see your question is very i i i, I want to know from which department you are i am from the english department yeah i know the same question <laughs> the same question i asked uh, dr mr sengod and when he was the controller then yeah. he told me hmm. yes sir it is very difficult to suppress that feeling uh, sometime or the other it bursts out so hmm. i put it in a different perspective okay see uh, okay uh, what you what you told it is all quite natural see anger ah, yes, anger anxiety stress everything will be it's a inborn quality of a human being but yes, the yes. problem problem where it starts no when we use those anger anxiety and stress to the next stage see every everyone has some limit yes, what yes. happened we yes. never know which is our limit so what about even for small thing yes yes over to one stage we started emo- our emotions shoots up yes sir. so this is wrong this is the wrong for negative aspect of our growth so they okay. they all inborn talent should be properly cared yeah. so that is the reason i never told see no yoga yogi will tell uh, if i feel learn yoga means anger will come anger will come out and we can reduce anger we can only wow. reduce but we cannot i already told you nothing can be eradicated we cannot 
eradicate everything from our body. Those are all things inborn quality. Our idea is to the inborn qualities should not dominate our natural perspectives. Otherwise, what happened? If you suppose myself, Shokumar, always Shokumar is stress man, tension, tension, tension. Whatever you go and tell Shokumar, we have tension like that. So that aspect should not overtook our normal life. So what happened? It, it, it should come out, but when and where, that is the situation. Even uh, if, a, yeah. even if a attender is not putting a water, shouting. Even a boy is not bringing a pen, shouting. Even the bus conductor doesn't give a ticket, shouting means what happened. We are making our body uncontrollable. That is danger level. So those uncontrollable levels can be, could be rectified by practicing these type of movements. That's all. So I, I will not say, I will not say we can quit everything and we can become very yogi like that. No, I'm not, no, I am not for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank nice, you. nice question. Nice question. Thank you. Karthi, any questions? Participants can ask questions now. Hello, sir. I'm Dr. Karunanadi from Hinduism College of Arts and Science from Coimbatore. Good. Very good. Um, yes. Very good morning, sir. Uh, very, uh, I would like to thank. Uh, this session is very nice. Uh, starting to till end now, I will uh, watch this uh, session. Very nice. Uh, my question is, uh, how to support for youngsters of a sportsman, yoga, how to support, uh, to perform? Ah, see, if you tell them you have to practice yoga for sports means everyone will uh, turn their side. Because I have this practical experience when I was first in, in, inducted into cricket coaching. Uh, I, I felt very difficult to implement this yogi program to cricketers of Trichy district about I'm talking about 25 years back uh, then in the concept after putting the yoga yoga session to the cricketers what happened the injuries started coming very less started accepting that yoga is very much needed for the cricketers then I created a routine like that then it started implementing so at the beginning stage if you tell anything, they will always will have only negative aspect. But it should be implemented like exercise program. For example, uh, we can take this trikonasana. If you take trikonasana, you, you very well know it is a side stretching. If you tell and tell the students to do trikonasana means they will no no asanas they will not improve sir, because it's very slow movements and they will give a comment. But if at the same time you tell side stretching. You stretch sidewards and stay there. You stretch sidewards and stay there means they will think like exercise. Then you can slowly change the breathing aspect. Then you can implement it. Then what for which team you are designing? That is the main factor. Suppose for cricket, we decide certain core values of uh, yoga for cricket years, particularly asanas and belly. For footballers, we need some more asanas. It is created. Concept is like that. So, these four types of asanas can be implemented for specific game, but common routine is very common that all can practice. Uh, I, as I told earlier, you know, for archery and the gymnastics, uh, Brikshasana is very much uh, included the yeah, yeah. process. Like that, uh, we can decipher certain asanas and we can implement it. But mm -hmm. at the beginning stage, you tell it is like exercise. Then you slowly, slowly you switch on to the word you ask yoga, because many coaches will not accept. If you tell yoga means no, 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 and we don't want yoga, we want only exercise there. Yeah, because always when you implement so many things, first answer will be no, only negative will receive. But don't worry, uh, one stage will be the positive man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Hello. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, yeah, my name is Shakti. Uh, I am from Erod. Uh, I am a badminton coach. Badminton so, coach. Badminton coach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yes. Nice of you. Uh, because our uh, game is a little bit, uh, you know, fast-paced game. So, okay. which asanas would be uh, useful for us to give for our uh, students? 
yeah it is uh, see if i am correct um, even our pv sindhu uh, in gopichand academy they insist a yogic practice for badminton players first part first thing see badminton nowadays it is a concept where uh, we need strength when when pv sindhu was uh, first time she entered uh, 2014 rather 2012 uh olympic game she was do dethroned because she doesn't have that muscle strength the core values of muscle then after four years what happened she secured a silver medal because of the muscle strength so if you if you think we need muscle means muscle is there means how can she practice how can she have speed it is not a concept the main concept of shuttle badminton is mental strength they must perform i must perform everyone must perform so this concept of mind technique should be implied in the training aspect first point so they need more pranayama they need more energy pranic energy is needed for them first point second one is stretching movements all stretching asanas particularly uh, trikonasanas then sarvangasanas then all asanas because their movement is maximum is lower extremity if we, even if they have a muscle mass they need speed without any injury and ankle injury is very common for shuttle badminton so they need more strength in ankle so if they normally if they practice vajrasana they have a very good strength in lower part so this is one aspect what you are telling is as a speed they want to improve speed aspect is based on muscle mass only if their muscle is there you can improve the speed so they need more strength so by practicing regularly they can improve the core value of the muscle then in then improve the speed speed value is nothing but by practicing regularly with the shuttle only so the foundation is needed in asanas in yoga foundation in the sense asanas pranayama and meditation so very directly we cannot say uh, it it supports badminton but indirectly yoga supports badminton not only badminton major majority of the games indirect support is the main concept for sports okay thank you sir thank you thank you nice question morning sir morning sir i am alati from department of mathematics gobi or college sir Sir, sir, you have told that doing a uh, withdrawal for five to seven minutes is equivalent to long walk. Withdrawal, withdrawal of or doing five to seven minutes is equivalent to long walking. Withdrawal, withdrawal. Yes. So I am going for walking for thirty to forty minutes, sir. Okay. So that okay. shall we practice this one, sir? Withdrawal for five to seven minutes. <laughs> ट्रीमिटी <laughs> For the first five, okay, five, five to seven minutes, then okay, you are sir. creating your endurance after that. So initial, yes, your initial, your strength of that five to seven minutes walk is developed in Vajrasana. Not that the okay. walking benefit, walking benefit is equal to Vajrasana. No, walking benefit is entirely different because when we walk entirely more, different. when we walk more, our gait system is such a way that. the stepping should be proper okay most so of you, most of you most of us are walking with the toes that is very wrong that is gait is nothing but walking stride we have to place our heel first in the ground so this concept should be followed properly then the breathing aspect comes for walking but in vajrasana what are what is we are using our lower extremity for sitting and we are yes. making our upper extremity be straight yes so, sir 
If you cannot say 40 minutes, I am sitting in Vajrasana, that is equal to 40 minutes walking. No. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. And then BPT or not? Yes, sir. That's <laughs> good. As your mathematics, your mathematics department, you are relating this is whether equal to that. <laughs> nice, ah, no. nice man. Actually, the point is given like that. That's why I want to clarify the doubt from you. Ah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that is so two, two. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Any more questions? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, it's Anubhav. I am a sir badminton player and I am more negative in my game. How I concentrate to positive things? More negative. More negative. More negative. Yeah. Are very either. What, what happened? What is your age? Uh, 27. 27. What level you have played? What, sir? What level, of, level you have played in the game? Uh, state level yeah. or district level or university level? A, st or? a, st a state level. State level. When you are playing for state level means negative means so think about there are positiveness is so much. Now badminton is the only uh, game which is so popular in India man. You are from which part of uh, uh, India? Bihar. Bihar. Oh nice. Uh, see when you are when you are uh, uh, practicing at the age of 27 and you are telling negative means think about other players who have achieved so many things. Uh, in the age of 40s, late, late 30s. So our victory and defeats are always to be gauged by our mind. See, the moment when we go to any tournament, we always think about the tournament, the top players, what happens, our performance is always almost 50% gone when we think like that. Yes. You don't think like that. You think you are starting your career on this day. You are the boss. You are the best. Get in. So okay. your mind should tell, okay, today I am the best player. You don't compare anyone. I, I'm not saying you compare with Sri Kant or you compare with so and so, so and so, Dan Martin, Pastor, so Not like that. You are the best. Okay. So okay. Sir, uh, which, which asana helps me more? The asanas. Uh, you have to do pranayama first of all. Okay. Pranayama, concentrate your mind is very much important through breathing. Then regarding your asanas for, for badminton players, you need leg stretching posture more. For that, you can do Janusrasasana, Trikonasana, Parivarta Trikonasana, Uttitta Trikonasana, then Vrikshasana, then Vakrasana. These Standing asanas and Utkara asana. Utkara asana is very good for your leg strength. Utkara asana. So these type of asanas will give more energy to your, more strength to your legs. Then psychologically you will have a very positive mind in your game. So whenever you hear after when you enter in your game, you always think about, you know, Gopi, Gopi College of Arts and Science for positive mind. You will win the next tournament. Okay. I hope you will understand and you okay. have to call this, call, call this college and tell them I won the tournament because of this webinar. Okay. Thank, Thank, you. You, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you participants for uh, the queries and uh, I would like to thank our uh, today's guest today's guest for uh, sparing your valuable time with us and uh, you have clearly explained the asanas and their benefits it will be beneficially for beneficial for everyone uh, thank you once again on behalf of iqsc cell ncc nss and before, department of physical uh, education uh, for giving me the opportunity Patti, before, Patti, okay. before i close i want to say one word can i say okay, okay uh, one, one word see this is a message for me what i'm giving on this day i will put one word in the screen not i B. It is simple. If you say I, I, I means everyone I, I, I means it is, it shows I is stands for illness. Vyadi, illness. If you tell B, it becomes wellness. So we don't want I, we want wellness. So we all fight together, we all join together to make anything happy, everything happy. So here after 
the listeners don't tell i am the best i am the i am the king i am the best i means becomes ill and we all tell we it becomes well this is the message i want to tell on this international award day thank you very much thank you the management principal everyone for giving me an a uh, wonderful session to interact with everyone thank you karthik it's to you Uh, thank you very much sir now i call upon uh, dr k rajendran nss program officer to give away the word of thanks good morning anand all first i would like to express first thank you sir thank you to our to our secretary and correspondent sir they are more support I wish to express my gratitude. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the teacher for his moral support. I would also like to thank the teachers for their dedicated help. I take this opportunity to extend my special thanks to our resource person, Urmu Dhanu College Department of Social Education. Major Dr. N. S. Sir was gracing today's next level webinar and inspiring us. Thank you, sir, for your very thought-provoking address. I would like to thank organizing secretaries, Captain Sir Pin Patil, Sir Associate N. C. C. Officer, Principal Director Mr. Muthi Sir, and organizing committee members for making this great success. Also, I thank all the participants for their active participation. Once again, I thank you all for your cordial cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, one and all. The feedback link is posted in the chat box. You can fill the feedback link for the attendance and e-certificate. Thank you, one and all, for listening patiently. Thank you. <laughs>